Uh, next, I'd like to invite our Secretary General, Roberto Montella, to say a few words. Thank you very much, uh, Congressman Hudson. Uh, thank you, all of you, for participating to this uh, webinar. We are 136 participants, according to my last list, uh, from uh, 30 participating states, with members of parliament from uh, 30 participating states. Uh, I also would like to spend two words to give a special thank to uh, Ambassador Iriola, the new head of the Conflict Prevention Center in Vienna. Ambassador, you have uh, started your mandate under very difficult circumstances, uh, but you've already been twice at the OSCPA. So as you can see, we have a close connection uh, with uh, your institution and we very much appreciate the work that uh, all uh, your um, department is doing both in Vienna, but above all uh, in all the field operations of the OSC. And also in these very challenging times, they've kept on working and kept on focusing on the issues that it's uh, in within their mandates and on, not only on the on the COVID issues. And also a special thank to Ambassador Cevic, uh, as a former mission member of the OSC myself, I worked for 10 years in OSC field operations uh, in conflict zones. So I very much appreciate the work that uh, your mission is doing. Ambassador, please transfer to all your mission members. Uh, our great respect uh, and our great uh, appreciation for the work that they do in very difficult uh, circumstances. Uh, they enjoy the full uh, respect of uh, this parliamentary assembly. This parliamentary assembly has been very often also in Donbass and uh, in, in the most uh, affected areas uh, of the conflict. And we've uh, worked very closely with your mission members. Uh, they have hosted us, they have given us uh, very thorough briefings. So we very much appreciate that. Please pass on the message from us. Uh, these events, as uh, Gustavo said, are an opportunity to maintain a live uh, political dialogue in this assembly. And uh, this is the third in a series of events. We will have another one next Friday. Uh, but uh, um, this is indeed a political dialogue. Uh, so I really uh, hope that the members will take the opportunity of uh, this uh, webinar today to um, engage in a dialogue which is very much in the spirit of the OSCPA. I always say that the spirit of the OSCPA is one that, where we build bridges and uh, where we try to foster dialogue among ourselves. So I know, of course, there are uh, members of countries which have difficulties with each other, but uh, I urge uh, participants, of course, to present the positions of their national governments and their, and their countries, but also to try to do that extra mile that we always say in the OSCPA that extra mile of also trying to foster in a dialogue uh, when we talk to each other. And this is what makes, I think, this assembly very special and different from uh, probably the permanent council of the OSC, where, of course, ambassadors, uh, and we have many participants, by the way, from Vienna, and I greet all those who are connected uh, from the OSC secretariat. Uh, um, in the permanent council, normally uh, ambassadors there present the positions of their country, and uh, of course, they are very much uh, firm on those positions. But you, as members of parliament, to engage in a dialogue, uh, I really urge you to use this platform also to do that extra mile, to talk to you your colleagues also in trying to foster possibilities of resolution of the conflicts that we have within the OIC region. With those words, I wish us all a very successful event and thank you very much, uh, Congressman Hudson and Gustavo and all of those who put it together. Thank you. Thank you, Roberto, and, and thank you so much for, for what you and your staff are doing, going to extraordinary measures during these very difficult times to make sure that we could continue to do our work. Uh, it's really been remarkable. Thank you for that.